Hello there, good evening, it's um, Brian again here from Excel Dashboard Widgets. I'm just replying here to a, a, a very quick um, request we've had on the forum from um, from the Captain 981 uh, Mario, he's saying um, he's having trouble copying a widget, for example the speedometer widget as shown in the video tutorial and then pasting it um, the result is different. Um, there's no title, there's no widget units, there's no speedometer dial. Please, please help. Um, so let's take a quick look at this. I'm going to download this attachment um, you've provided here, Mario, and let's um, let's open it up and take a look and and try and figure out what we can do to um, to get you back on track. Um, it's just opening now. Okay. It's coming from the internet, so we need to enable editing. Um, we need to enable content. Um, continue. Um, okay, so the first thing I can see um, is it, it's a little bit squashed um, when you've pasted it uh, across Mario. Um, we um, we've been using uh, Excel 2010. I'm not sure which version of Excel you've been been using. Um, before when we were using 2007 we noticed a few um, problems not changing shape but actually changing font sizes um, that, but that was with Excel 2007 um, but Excel 2010 seems to be a lot of, uh, seems to be very stable um, so let us know which version you're using um, and that should um, help as well um, us understand what we can do to help you out with this. But the, but the first thing is the, the shape, we need to correct the size of the, of the shape. So if you look on the, um, the Excel Dashboard Widgets spreadsheet, if you just click um, this, this, this widget, uh, the first one, the, the linear dial widget, um, if you go up above the ribbon to format, you'll, you'll notice the dimensions of the widget are, um, the height is 10.45 centimeters and the width is 11.9 so if we go across to your widget here again just click on it go to format and we'll just you'll notice yours is seven seven centimeters high um, this might as well be I've noticed your your spreadsheets in Italian um, that might be one of the reasons why the the, the size is going a bit strange um, it might also be because of the, the, the default template that you have set up. Um, for example, if I, if I just copy this, I'm doing control C, I'm just copying this widget now. Um, when we copy the widget across, it comes perfectly sized. Um, but anyway, let's, let's go back and we'll just change yours. So it, yours needs to be um, 10.45 high. So I'm just changing that now in the dimensions here. 10.45 high, that's a little bit better, isn't it? And the width is 11.9 wide. Okay, 11.9. Okay, so our next problem we have is there's, there's bits missing. Um, but, they're, but they're not actually missing, they're, they're, they're just blank. So if you... Um, we've talked before in a number of other videos about um, something called the um, the selection pane. So if you go to the ribbon on the top under Home, you go right across to the end. There's Find and Select. Go down. The very last one is the selection pane. If you just click that. Now in the selection pane, it shows you um, all the shapes on this sheet. Um, and you'll see there's the, for example, if I just take the, the, the linear dial widget, um, it's actually a group of, of Excel objects, um, text boxes, uh, shapes, graph objects. So we just look at the linear dial widget, there's the title, I'm clicking that on the right and, and there's the title, there's the main value, clicking that and here's the main value there. Um, so if I go across to your um, dial here, Mario, um, we have the same thing. I'll just close that for one second. Again, come across, click Find and Select, Selection Pane, and you'll notice for this for this dial that you have, 
all of all of the items are there. Um, they're just not linked um, to any any values at the moment. For example, if I click the the dial title, if we look on the left, the the, the text box is there. Um, it's pulling data from F from cell F9, but there's no there's no actual data in cell F9 at the moment. Um, so. <coughs> If you followed the original tutorial, you'll notice that uh, we always suggest to set up three tabs on the bottom. Um, so I'm going to do that for you now. The first one is called My Dashboard. My Dashboard. The second one is called um, My Configuration Data. Configuration Data. And the last one is My Calculations. My Cal calculations data. That's just my calculations. <coughs> so what we need to do now is to copy across onto these tabs um, the configuration information that feeds this um, this 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 widget and the the calculations that are performed behind. So let's go across now and copy that. So this is the configuration data for the first dial. I'm going to control C, copy that, um, paste that over here onto configuration page. Um, and I'm going to copy the, the calculations from the widget showcase calculations. I'm going to copy those. Control C, control V onto the calculations page. Right, so now everything is ready to start configurating this. Um, okay, for the title, I'm going to call this um, Mario's. Um, what are we going to call this? Ooh, Mario's uh, widget production rate. It's a little bit long. Um, let's maybe do. A thousand widgets a day. Maybe we want the scale to go between um, ten thousand and a maximum of fifty thousand. Um, I'm going to use a random value. Times that by forty. That's between starting from ten. So it always picks a number if I press F9. I'm pressing F9 repeatedly now. F9, F9, F9. It always picks a number between um, 10 and 50. Uh, OK. So now I can start to link a few of these things to our, to our widgets. So for example, if I start with the title, I'm clicking the title over on the, the, the selection pane. Um, I want to link that instead of cell F9. I want to do equals, and I want to link that to the configuration data page. Um, Mario's widget production rate. Similarly, I can come down to the units. I click the text box for the units. Um, press equals. Configuration data. Selects the box for the units. Press return. I have times a thousand widgets a day. Similar for the main value, the linear dial main value on the right. Press equals my configuration data. Here it says actual value, but it's it's the main value. Now it says 32.1. You'll notice the scale goes from zero to a hundred, and that's because um, the scale. Um, values are still linked to the old widget showcase um, calculations. We want to link these to. Um, actually, before before I do that, before I change the scale, I'm going to do something else. Let's quickly go to the My Calculations page and follow the steps here for the um, uh, for the for the for the for the calculation setup. So the first thing we do is step one. Link the yellow cells to the configuration page. Okay, so the minimum value, um, you'll notice this is linked to a, a different spreadsheet. We don't need this. We'd like equals. 
the minimum value come across to the my configuration data the minimum value is 10 press return um, the maximum value is 50 and you'll notice immediately it's um, it's calculated for us um, the the different scale range values which will update the text boxes um, these one two three four five six these text boxes um, to show the correct scale going from a minimum of 10 on the scale to, to 50 um, and we'll do that next actually we'll, we'll, we'll link these across um, but let's quickly change the actual value equals 30.8 and now you'll see it's automatically calculated the, the, the graph which shows the needle um, the x and y coordinates of the needle um, and it's automatically calculated the, the, the scale so now we move here to step 2 in the red um, link the dial widget objects to the blue cells following the example following the example over here in the in the Excel dashboard widgets um, spreadsheet template so let's do that very quickly now let's come across here the first dial um, isn't zero it's going to go from that equals from 10 to to to, to 50 now let's come across here it's going to start at the minimum press return the second value I'm clicking here now on the right um, select this equals it's going to be the value there the third value is going to be that value there the fourth value be that value there the fifth value is going to be here and the final value is going to be the maximum so you'll see now the scale is going at equal intervals from 10 to 50 um, if we wanted to do this from let's say 0 to, to 80 we just go to configuration the minimum value is zero. Let's change that to zero. The maximum value, I think I said 80, didn't I? 80. And you'll see that automatically the intervals has been have been recalculated and automatically the scale on the main dial has been intervals. It goes 0, 16, 32, 48, 64, up to 80. Now the last thing that's missing is the is the needle which will now um, line up with the with the with the 47.5 mark now this is a little bit trickier because it hasn't copied across um, properly um, if I copied it within Excel 2010 normally it, it, it copies it across um, um, and it keeps the uh, it keeps the needle intact um, as you can see here um, the needle is still is still there. If I come over here and click on the visibility panel, you'll see this is the the graph object that shows the needle. It's still there, but it's not linked to any data. So let's let's link that to, to some data now. In order to do that, we need to go across on the chart tools, which is above the ribbon to where it says design, and then we need to come across to where it says select data. Now we need to um, make sure everything is modeled the same as the example. So let me go across to here, the example, and then click on the needle. And that's the circle, that's the needle here. Um, and look, how's that set up? Um, okay, the, the, the data that's feeding this, this needle, it's basically um, an XY graph um, that's just pulling in coordinates. Um, is uh, is is um, it's using these cells here from G looks like okay here it is G9 to H14 so it's the the blue cells and the XY 
a little bit at the top. Okay, so let's do exactly the same thing on on your widget here, Mario. Select the needle on the right, go to design, go select data, use this little red thing um, on the right to select the data, which is this data here. Click again the little red thing where it says select data source, little red thing on the right. Um, I hope that's done it correctly. Click OK. And of course it hasn't done it correctly. So let's uh, let's try that again. Um, let's go back to design, select data, because these things shouldn't be there. It should just say why. Let's go try again. My calculations, X and Y. Drop it in. Okay, now it seems to be okay. Um, it says Y, the values, okay. So we come across, and now we have a needle. But you'll notice as well the needle, um, it definitely says 36.5. If I press F9, it'll update the random data. 18.2, F9 again, it's showing 40.3. Um, but it's not, it seems to be blue for some reason, and the line thickness seems to be a lot thinner. Um, so let's just go across to here, look at the linear dial needle again. Let's click on that, right click, um, look at format data series. Um, the line color here should be, uh, it looks like it's um, almost black, just one up from, from, from the bottom. And the thickness of the line style is seven, seven points. So let's do that the same here. Click on the, um, click on the needle, right click, format the data series. The line color, solid line instead of automatic. It's the second one from the bottom, which is fine. The line style needs to go up to seven. Um, click close. And there we go. Um, there's the widget identical to the um, uh, to the widget in the example. Um, if I press F9, it uh, it updates uh, automatically as the as the data change, the random data we're using changes. Um, Mario, I hope that's helped um, solve your problem. Um, if you have a different version of Excel, there might be other problems. Um, we, we, we do have uh, other versions of Excel um, in, installed here at Exadecimal Widgets. Um, so we can, um, we can take a look at that as well and, um, and uh, see if you have the same problems. And we can, we can help you solve the problems. Um, have, have a go at this, uh, this solution we've, um, we've provided. Um, as you can see, uh, we don't have any problems. I'm just copying this next widget down, the daily widget demand. Just copying that across into here. We don't have any, any other problems with um, um, Excel 2010. Um, so uh, anyway, uh, please keep sending us um, your, 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 your posts in the forum and, and, and hopefully this has been useful. Um, so uh, once again, um, Brian from Excel Dashboard Widgets, um, thank you for listening and um, until next time.